Hi diaper wearers. I bought this package with some diapers. Since I haven't done an unboxing video of my order in a while, today I'll show you which diapers I ordered at the beginning of August and give you a preview of what you can look forward to in the coming weeks as practical review. Some of them are diapers that I liked for stock. Let's take a look together. Many of you will already know the first pack on the left from the last practical test. It's the Tykables Puppers. Actually version 2, as the diaper was already available in a different design with lower absorbency. Unfortunately, Tykables does not officially differentiate between the two, so I have written V2 in brackets to distinguish between them. I am currently wearing one of them while editing the video and recording this text. The diaper not only looks cute, but is also quite thick and very absorbent. It will easily last until midday tomorrow before I have to change. The pack right next to it stands out with its striking red color. Anyone who has seen my other videos will have recognized it by now. It's the Lil Soaker from Kiddo, often affectionately referred to as the Fireman's Diaper. This is its motif and not only the diaper is printed with it. The entire pack was made in the style of a fire engine, with attention to detail such as the tires or the license plate. The license plate is also a slightly hidden illusion. Anyone who has understood it can write what it means in the comments. On the far right, it is simpler with white diapers in classic transparent packaging. The Camelots are again from Tykables and, contrary to first impressions, are also printed in color. However, not over the entire diaper, but on the front of the adhesive surface. This is interesting if you want to hide them or prefer simpler, less colorful prints. A practical test will follow soon. We are not finished yet, there is a second floor in the package. On the back right is a diaper that I had already tested in practice as an inexpensive, but still quite absorbent and sufficiently thick foil diaper with good results, it's the Safari from Rears. It is printed over the entire surface and replenishes my supply of everyday diapers. I have already worn the Safari in everyday life at concerts and on the train. There it has proven to be a solid choice. I don't do any practical tests or other experiments when I'm out and about because it's difficult to measure. Of course, you don't want to leak when you have nothing to change into in the worst case scenario. At the bottom left is another new diaper, for which there is only a small preview and the introduction in Diaper News episode 23, it's the Dragoons from LNGU. A few months ago, the French company surprisingly launched a new diaper on the market after their range had long been limited to the candy fluff. The candy fluff has already been tested in practice and is impressive. I am therefore curious to see how well the much more expensive Dragoons performs. Presumably LNGU wants to enter the area of extra thick diapers with high absorbency. If you would like to talk to me or others about the diapers, please write it in the comments below this video. There you can exchange ideas with the community. You are also welcome to write in the comments which diaper you are most looking forward to. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing as a change from the other formats I usually do. I'll soon be back with more practical tests and I have another video planned for the CSD in Stuttgart, Germany, in which I'll be focusing on ABDL and pup play. Stay dry, have a good start to the week, until the next video.